All right. So today, okay, so we were asked um, by somebody to watch Baggage. Yep. Which was, I don't, I don't know how long it aired for or when it aired. I just know that it had Jerry Springer. Right. So anything with Jerry Springer is going to show itself in its true form of being, I don't know what, but. Possibly controversial? Yeah. Not the right word? Probably. Oh, God. Where's my beer? I don't know. You I'll go grab prepared. it. You have your smokes? Yeah. I still have the ashtray. We don't have to worry about that. They won't see it anyway. I've got it. Okay, now I've got my cigarettes. I've got my adult beverage, adult beverage, uh, apple juice, whatever. Um, and uh, have lemonade. You still haven't tried that new apple juice? No, I haven't. No, no, warms right. them up. All right, so hopefully you guys will be able to hear us. I've done all sorts of testing with this today, and God only knows if it's if it's going to work properly. So we'll we'll find out. All right, so here we go. Here we go. This is Chris. He's got a secret, and it's hidden inside this red bag. Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriends? Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? Or I mean, I know plenty of people that. dump an X in the middle of sex? Oh, God, I hope that's the one. Ooh, a lot more coming up on baggage. Surely not. I hope that's the one. I... Pray to God that that's the one. Is this the first love. one? Right now, let's meet our dater. He's a sports coach from Yorktown, New York. Say hello to Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris, how are you? Very nice Hi, to meet you. You're ready. I don't think he's ready either. So, uh, what are you looking for here? I'm looking for a girl who's ambitious, um, someone who cares about family and friends, um, someone who takes care of themselves, both physically and mentally and spiritually, because oh. that's just... That's important to you, very, very good. Important. Okay, now, uh, what are your interests? I've been doing ballroom dancing, some ballroom partner dancing. dancing. I hear you've, uh, you've been doing some of that yourself. I, uh, well, I try to. Uh, try to. But the public... Would you like to try to? With you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You're right. Okay. You're right being the girl, right? Okay. Right, so what do I do? All right. I'm gonna hold you here. Oh. Yeah. What? Hey. Hey. Yes. All right. You're gonna push I, out. Actually. No. What you oh, Okay. Like, what oh. am I doing? I'm just rock back and forth. Oh. You pop out this way. You pull this way. Come this way. What is going on right now? Right, right, ready? There we go. Back to back. And you go over. Under. And through. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Jerry Springer, <laughs> what happened to you? Don't call me. Okay. All right, well, Chris, actually, that dancing's going to do you some good because there are three, and I'm serious, I met them backstage. Beautiful, beautiful women. Sweet. All right? Sweet. But they've got some baggage. Okay. So, are you ready to meet them now? All right. Let's, let's do let's it. See how beautiful She's a state there. technician from Tracy, California. Say hello to Caitlin. Hello, Caitlin. I enjoy dancing, oh, hanging out with my dog, and getting physical with the right man. Maybe you could be him. What if he doesn't like dogs? All right, next, she's a real well, estate agent. Well, but what if he doesn't like dogs? It's already an automatic loss. Hi, Chris. I love shopping, working out, and spending time with my family. So maybe if you're lucky enough, you'll get to meet them. Oh. And finally, she's a teacher from Whittier, California. Let's hear it for Raquel. for fashion, I enjoy painting, and I love going to concerts. Maybe you could take me sometime. Yeah. Okay, what did I tell you? Three beautiful women, but each one of them brought in three bags hiding their embarrassing personal issues, and when the bigger bags are open, bigger secrets will be revealed. This way, Chris can find the right woman without wasting any time. Ladies, it is time to show us your smallest piece of baggage. <laughs> Let's start with Caitlin. I'm obsessed with. I mean, I'm a photographer. That wouldn't bother me. Well, she is well developed. 
It's just kind of like a, oh, like a vain thing. I mean, the puns have already started. Capture the memory and all, but I mean, I don't know. It just seems like it might be all more about you than kind of the moment and going out and about and enjoying life instead of kind of documenting it all the time. <laughs> I love to look and feel beautiful. I love when people give me the attention. And wouldn't you take pictures of me all day if I were with you? <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, points for points for being confident, I guess. Holly. I want what? Yes. What? Man. If you're watching reality TV and like there's other things to watch going on, I mean, where's Dude, your that would be like, you know, uh, you know, if maybe that's an insult. Like, like why are you watching TV? I wouldn't have to do that. Oh, so. tense. <laughs> <laughs> so we shouldn't have that problem with you, I don't think. But. Like, there's nothing that says you're boring as shit in bed. Then, hey. I wonder what the Real Housewives of Atlanta are doing right now. the right show to watch. Fuck. We know her position. Anyway, our Raquel. I wear my panties two days in a row. I'm just thinking I hope I don't get you on the second day. She's a beautiful girl. I just would be yeah. concerned about your personal hygiene and all that, you know? I mean, right. you seem like right, you take care I'm of yourself. Right, but I'm clean, so. though. I'm clean. I do the smell check. I'm pretty good. You do the smell check? Oh. Wait, what? I don't smell my panties. I don't know. I wear them once. Is I this something that, wait a minute, is this something that women do? I don't know. Is this something that other women do? Do you guys do smell checks? I do smell check. <laughs> what? I fresh panties every okay. day. First of all, what the shit is a smell check? Like she just picks them up and Yeah, she these are good. Like the way like the way like the way a guy uses a shirt, like if it's cuz guys have, you know, guys have three modes. Okay? It's it's I mean besides like being in the closet, like in the drawer or yeah. hanging up, okay? It's either like hanging on the edge of the bed on the floor, on the side of the hamper, or in the hamper. If it's in the hamper, it don't wear it. it. You're not wearing it again. If it's hanging on the hamper, that's where not me, because I don't have a sense of smell. But guys will like pick it up and be like, "That's yeah, that's still, yeah, still good." If it's on the floor, most guys are like, "Well, it's still good. Just got to make sure you know, just dust it off." And if it's hanging up, you're you already plan on wearing that either this, yeah. the next day or like the day after. Right. But panties? I mean. And turning them inside out is not an option. Don't do oh, that. Oh God, no, okay, no. Ladies, unlock their bigger bags and okay, so one of them out. See so which one is the biggest like no go to you? I thought it was going to be the TV, but the panties is the thing. Earlier, we saw the lady's smallest baggage. We've got Caitlin, who is obsessed with being photographed. Holly, who watches reality TV during sex. And Raquel, who wears her panties two days in a row. Now, Chris, someone has to go, so it's time for the deal break around where we see even bigger baggage. Now, as you can see, all the bags are placed here randomly, and when Chris picks the one he can't handle, well, the woman who claims that particular bag will be shown the, the door. The one he can't handle. It is yeah. time to expose more baggage. Okay. These are all randomly now. Bag number one. So we don't know who, which bag belongs to which lady. Okay. <laughs> I collect men's used underwear. That's the one. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm not ready for this show. <laughs> Who? Okay, listen. Listen. <laughs> I don't care if you're a girl wanting guys' underwear, a guy wanting girls' underwear, a girl wanting girls' underwear, a guy wanting guys. Listen. If you collect underwear, I'm... 
He didn't say necessarily dirty underwear. It doesn't matter. Listen, <laughs> you know she's not like going to Walmart and taking out like a pair of like three no, br fresh news. briefs. <laughs> yeah. I can wear these. Listen, again. We, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't kink shame here. But at the same time, for fuck, man, like find. <laughs> Oh, God. Just. Oh. I can't. I'm not ready for the show. I think you made me cry. <laughs> okay. Listen, I, if that's the, the first case. case. God, did you hear what happened to my voice right there? <laughs> <clears throat> my vocal cords are not ready. Okay. To, this isn't even the biggest case. Ooh, this is the middle. This is get rid of somebody. Jesus. Would I'd it like to help you out, but I'm going commando. <laughs> like, oh. Bag number two. <laughs> what? I communicate telepathically with my dog. <laughs> that is crazy. That's the girl in the black. I just dress. email mine. That's my <laughs> Ooh, okay. Three. So we have a serial killer and a psycho. I scan men's testicles in prison all day. Cherry had to put his glasses up for that one. I don't that know could be a job. Are, she I could be like a medical examiner. I'm not going to fault somebody for what their job is. If that's if that's somebody's legit okay, job, then fine. Here. I scan men's testicles in prison all day. I don't want a girl who's touching other guys' stuff all day long. I don't. I want her only touching mine. You know. Yeah. I mean, look, it's a job that someone's got to do. But I'd be concerned about her, her safety. I communicate telepathically with my dog. I mean, I like I like animals. I like talking, you yeah. know, to my dog in like but you're a not, high pitched voice, you're right? Not, listen, but, uh, there's no way. Do. <laughs> there's no way he's accepting I mean, if, if she can that. Read dogs' minds. Can oh, she you telepathically, you, mind? you telepathically well, communicate with your animal? Can. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Me too. What's he saying? I like men's used underwear. <gasps> That, I don't no, know, like, that I don't one. really want a girl who's collecting men's underwear or anything of, like, her previous guys, yeah. you know? Now, Chris, which one is your deal that breaker? One. That's my deal breaker. It's, that's gotta be. So I don't think that that is. How, how is it, how is that not the deal breaker? I scan men's testicles in prison all day. What? The, the one, the one that it could be, ladies, like, explained ladies, legitimately. Is the one that he chooses? What's the? Bro, I'm afraid to know what this guy's past girlfriends are like. Somebody has hurt this man, and he has gained to like it. Caitlin, <laughs> tell me the explain. the blonde-haired girl That's doesn't look like a blonde-haired. I scan leader. hearts. Livers, veins, and arteries. I'm sorry, Caitlin, but it is time to pack up and go. The blonde. She looks like a blonde haired weed dog. Your testicles aren't ones that I'll be looking at anytime soon. Whoa. And she just said she yeah. does it for testing. That's her job. Like, what an idiot. Telepathically with her dog and Holly, who collects men's used underwear. Ladies, it's a blonde haired weed dog. Yeah. Chris, here's my biggest bag. I love being a sugar mama to young men, and I think you're too old for me anyways. Welcome to Nazi, brought to you by Intellius Day Check, because you shouldn't be in doubt when you go out. Now, Chris, we heard your concerns about their bag. I love being a sugar daddy. That was say. her now, biggest. Holly collects men's used underwear. Raquel, well, what are your thoughts about that? She seems to be the um, safest choice, disgusting. and he Why would you want the history of like, your ex-boyfriends? I think that's really gross. Holly? You know, they're ex-boyfriends and, and some casual guys that'll come over and love them. But I like the way that I look in them, so, you know, I save them. You know, maybe if you come over, I can try them on for you. No. And no. Where, where do you live? No. no Absolutely now, not. I don't want you trying on some other guy's underwear in front of me. What? About that. I think it's a little crazy, honestly. Like, who does that? 
who can talk to animals. Yeah. Well, who? I love animals, and me and my dog have a special bond. We connect. Who not, who not only collects, you can, you know what but you're doing wears. Yeah, like when she's hungry. Used guys' crazy, underwear. You know? When she's sick, under the weather. Yeah. I love her that much. Okay. Uh, ladies, it's time to think fast on your feet, and I'm going to ask each of you a series of questions so Chris can see who's the right woman for him. Let's start with Holly. Holly, so please he doesn't step ever get to see spot. the largest baggage for these two? Give me the first answer that comes to mind, okay? Here we go. Chris is a soccer coach. In relationships, are you more of a striker, a receiver, or a cheerleader? A cheerleader. In what ways are you goal-oriented? I know what I want in life, and I go for it, and I get it. What do you get a kick out of doing when you're alone? Working out. Putting on guys' underwear, you liar. If your life was a reality show, what would it be called? Holly's yep. World. She needs to let the underwear go. Show Chris how good you are with your feet when you hit the dance floor. Oh my God, she dances as bad as I do. I'll be honest, I never noticed your feet, but have a seat. Almost as bad as you do. Very good. Well, Chris, what do you think of her answers? This woman. Uh, I mean, Holly, you're obviously a beautiful woman. I, uh, <laughs> Holly's world part throws me off a little bit. But, um, but I like that you're a cheerleader, that you're like in support of, of it and want to be happy and do good things, you know? That's, that's really important. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Raquel, please step in the do box. Looks like weed up is throwing me off. Which part of New York best describes your personality? Park Avenue, Bloomingdale's, or Broadway? Um, Central Park. What's one physical trait you would change if you could? Uh, my belly button, it's a little off-centered. What's the wildest thing you've done? Dancing on a table. That's the wildest thing what she's done. What do you do oh, on your ideal date with Christopher? Maybe like a nice restaurant or something like that. Christopher has no problem admitting he loves musicals. Show him your best jazz moves. <laughs> well, and the music's not jazz anyway. Very good. Nice. Um, she definitely can dance better than the other one. Oh, yeah. Chris, what do you think of her answers? Uh, Raquel, I, I, yeah, I mean, I like a girl who knows how to get down and also likes quiet time at home. That's awesome. And, uh, and you obviously know how to dress yourself, Bloomingdale's-wise. And, uh, and imperfections are cute. Did he just right, say well, he knows, he knows how to dress himself? You have no idea She's wearing camouflage biggest leopard print. And that could blow your mind. But don't forget, Chris has a big secret hiding in his big red bag. Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriend? Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? Again, I've seen plenty of people. Or did he dump an ex in the middle of sex? One God, I hope real. it's that one. Find out the truth when we come back. I so hope it's that one. a sports coach who's playing the field and looking for love. Now, only two women remain, and they're about to unveil their biggest secret to Chris, who has to make his final decision. Will he choose Holly, who watches TV during so sex, then, they get then keeps the, the final briefs. girl, I would assume, gets to choose if oh, she's Raquel, willing to be with yeah. him Spurs based on his... Is overdue for a watch. <laughs> Ladies, it is time to show us your biggest piece of baggage. For the girl that collects underwear, for both of them. Holly. Hers is gonna be the worst, I bet. I dumped my fiance with. I mean, nowadays, fiance. like, that's commonplace. Like, oh, wait, yeah, fiance. Like a fiance oh, you're shit. Spend the rest of your life with, like, let alone just someone you begin dating. Like, that's just, I mean, why would I want to invest my time into that? Well, she got his underwear. Got LA, she didn't need him anymore. He's still in Dallas and. I just didn't have the heart to do it over the phone, so I sent it in a text. Well, you should have waited until you were in person. It's a fiance. Yeah, it's not it's a terrible, fucking. But, you know, Chris. If things work out with us, I would, I would do it in person with you. <laughs> oh, she's already. Yeah, she's already said. I, I, you know, if I'm if I'm with you, I, I I'll dump you anyway. But I'll do it in person. Your baggage. This girl's a psychopath. He needs to run. I'm addicted. Oh to shit. And I'm 50, See, I wouldn't be able to be with this girl because I also am addicted to online shopping. I mean, if you can't have two, and keep yourself well. I mean, you can't I mean, have two online shopping addicts in the same house. Oh. No, I mean, 
she does it by hand. Thing. If you're taking on a relationship she with somebody, it, it can really interfere with, you know, starting a relationship, especially a relationship that's going to last. So much underwear. You know, so I mean, much it's underwear. The, the world of things, you know, it could be worked out, but, I mean, an addiction of one thing can lead to addiction of other things, which is the concern. 50,000? Um, well, I like designer clothing. Um, I like expensive taste, and um, I do online shopping, so it comes and delivers to my house. And don't worry about it, Chris. She's a. So I'm paying she's it very much a homebody. She's Holly, very much tell a homebody. Chris, why he should choose you and not Raquel? Um, I think you should choose me because I'm a sweet Southern girl that Southern collects men's underwear for sure. After she breaks up with them via text. We definitely know how to take care of our men, so you'd be in good hands. And we I know how to take care of our men. Need to <laughs> but we break her. up she's via text. She's crazy. She talks to animals. So, and steal their own. She's in debt. Uh, that's a lot of baggage. Uh, Raquel, you tell Chris why he should choose you and not Holly. Well, I'm a sweet girl. I'm very personal, unlike some people. Uh, <laughs> I like to have a good time, and I would always keep a smile on your face. Okay, it is the time to has been thrown. Will it be Holly, who watches reality TV during sex, collects she is men's off used balance, underwear, dude. Like, you gotta fucking run. Fiance but you can deal with the debt. You can deal with the debt. Will it be Raquel, because I had debt when we first two days got in a row, I mean, not 50 Communicates I telepathically debt. with her dog, and is addicted to online shopping, and is $50,000 in debt. I mean, if you're dating, that's yeah, her debt. You that's not your debt. Yeah. Women here, but, um, Be like, we'll get married when you get that shit fixed. Holly, I love the southern hospitality and the home cooked meals and the family orientation. With the text message and the reality TV, it seems like some of your actions are a little impersonal, so concerns me a lot for when we're together if, you know, we're actually going to connect or not. Exactly. And Raquel, you have great style, but you're $50,000 in debt, and you talk telepathically to your animals, which can be crazy or could be cool and cute. I'm not sure yet. All right. Well, Chris, it is I think he gave away his answer right there. He said, I'm not sure yet. Holly, you have too much baggage. Yeah, I saw that one coming. I'm sorry, Holly, but it is time to pack up and go. That's okay, Chris, because I'm too hot for you anyways. Oh! But way to go, Raquel and Chris! Don't make any plans just yet, though, because we don't know if Raquel will stay with Chris after seeing his big baggage. Find out what I mean, I'm not going to lie, she, she wasn't unattractive. Chris has just chosen the lovely Raquel here for a romantic first date, but the roles are reversed, and now, of course, it is her decision. What's the secret in Chris's big red bag? Does he hire a private detective to investigate his girlfriends? Does he have a court-ordered breathalyzer installed in his car? Now, let me ask you, would any of these or be did he like a no-go, like a red sex? flag for you? Raquel, of these three possibilities, the which would be the toughest okay, one what, for you I mean, to have to what accept? What if she's... The dumping like, the girlfriend while having sex. Yeah. Why? Cold and impersonal and Yeah, it's heartless. just rude. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. So, Chris, please Come reveal... On. What is it? ...your baggage. What is it? No! <gasps> oh, yes! 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 Oh, he's a he is a hero amongst men. What happened? At least he did it face to face. Volatile relationship. We had been fighting for a while. Here we are being intimate with each other, and she decided to bring it up. It just ruined the mood, and it all the reality of it just came to me, and just ended it right then and there. So wow. she brought it up during she sex. It up. I, you know, I don't blame him. Yeah. I don't think that's gonna be an issue. All right. Well, we're. I don't blame him. Can you accept Chris's? Baggage. Well, Chris. I think I think she should. Yeah. I'm gonna accept your baggage. Because it's explainable. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not a I was gonna dump her, but we were doing this first and I still think he threw away like his best option. Did you pick me? Uh, kind of excited to meet your dog as well. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Oh. Did you have fun? Yeah, totally. <laughs> There is 
there's still so much to unpack here. <laughs> Don't tell me to let the underwear thing go. I can't let the underwear thing go. <laughs> you got one girl. You got one girl wears hers two days in a row. Yep, that was her. Yeah. I mean, you got the other one who collects it, used, yep. and then wears it, and then tells this guy to his face, I hate she "I'll wear it. them. I'll, I'll model them for you." <laughs> You're going to show me your dick, too? Like, that's the next step. That wasn't in the bag. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not I think we should do another one of these next week. There's only four episodes on, like, YouTube. I okay. can't. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. Don't make me do it again. <laughs> and we're gonna make them do it again. I tell you what, we're gonna leave it up. We're gonna leave it up to the to the people in the comments. Okay. So I'll leave. I'll have a comment that says, "Should we watch another episode?" And if we get, because we don't get a lot of views, if we get ten upvotes on it, yep. Ten upvotes on the comment. We'll we'll do another one next week. Okay. Deal. I think that's fair enough. So, um, I love your faces. That's all you guys say. Yeah. Okay. Well, your piggy needs you. He's not doing me anymore. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. We love your faces. Be good to one another. Yeah. Do good things. Make the world proud of you. Smile at someone. There you go. Bye. <laughs>